Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain the working of hydraulic cylinders hooked in parallel. That means the hydraulic cylinders are synchronized in parallel. That means two cylinders which are arranged in a parallel for the particular application. In this session, I am going to explain the working circuit and also with the animation and what are the applications, possible applications of this hydraulic cylinders in parallel I am going to take. Firstly, I will take the circuit diagram of this hydraulic cylinders in parallel synchronized. What it consists of? It consists of a filter, tank filter, pump pressure relief hall, 4 by 3 direction control hall, with the solenoid actuated and the spring centered and the two cylinders, cylinder 1 and the cylinder 2. Here each line, the outlet of the tank line which is connected to the piston inside of the both the cylinders. At a same time, the extension of the both the cylinder will be taking place and both the cylinders are takes the load at a time with the same speed and the same power. And during the retraction, also, the fluid will be supplied to the rod inside of the cylinders parallelly. At the same time, the retraction of the cylinders also taking place at the same time. Then the retraction load, if it is there, that is also carried by the uh, at the same time. And this is about the circuit. Then we now we'll go for the animated circuit. In this circuit, it consists of a tank filter pump run by the motor, pressure relief valve and here the 4 by 2 direction control valve, manual actuated spring center have taken okay because the center position is a neutral position that is omitted and that can be taken. That can be taken in this animation it is not taken. And here the direction control valve what is there? There are two envelopes. When it is in the left envelope manually actuated the fluid from the pump will be moving parallel to the both the cylinders at the piston end side. Therefore, the extension of the both the cylinders parallelly taking place. Parallel extension will be taking place. When the direction control valve is at right envelope, then the pump line will be going to the rod end side of the cylinder. Then the other side, the piston end side, the fluid will be going back to the tank. And the retraction is also taking place in the same speed and also same that power which are the fluid rate flow will be same for both the cylinders. Like this, the extension and retraction of the cylinder at a time, at the same time taking place with the same speed as well as the same power and that is the some of the applications where the number of cylinders are to be operated and also if the low the pressure requirement if it is there the more than two cylinders also the parallelly we can arrange at the same time the extension of the, all the cylinders and the, the load carrying of the, all the cylinders will be taking place that is an advantage of the uh, synchronizing the cylinders in parallel then explanation about this will take in the <coughs> this extension and retraction we can see from this animated figure. Next, we will take the explanation of that working, how it works. The circuit shown is a very interesting circuit which seems to show how two identical cylinders can be synchronized by piping them in parallel. However, even if the two cylinders are identical, it would be necessary for the loads on the cylinders to be identical in order for them to extend in exact synchronization. Okay, the cylinder sizes are if it is the same, then those should be uh, extend uh, in a proper uh, with the speed and their uh, cylinders to be identical. Then only we can and the load also should be identical on those cylinders. If the loads are not exactly identical, if the loads are not exactly identical, as is always case, in most of the cases loads are not identical, the cylinder with a smaller load would extend first 
and because it would move at a low pressure level and after this cylinder has fully completed its stroke the system pressure will increase higher level required to extend the cylinder uh, with the greater load okay here the load if it is a variation is there then the one after the other the extension of the cylinder is taking place but that is not required for our our application both should extend at a same uh, time and with the same speed and the same load and carry ca carrying capacity load should not be very in order to use the this cylinder synchronized in the parallel arrangement then it should be pointed out that no two cylinders are really identical okay no cylinders are really identical for example a difference in packing friction will vary from cylinder to cylinder this would prevent the cylinder synchronization for the circuit this and this solvent is that one if the two cylinders are not identical load is not identical we cannot use this parallel cylinder arrangement if the loads are identical and cylinders are identical we have to we can use this cylinders in a synchronized in the parallel arrangement and that is an advantage thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment